Welcome to Weekend Design. With the holiday season quickly approaching, you're probably looking for the perfect gift ideas with a personal touch. Here's Atlantic Beach artist Nyrus to show us how painting on fabric like cotton or silk is a fun and inexpensive activity for the whole family to enjoy. You need a couple paint brushes, usually a big one and a thin one or a few paint brushes, a jar of water, and then uh, you need some straight pins, not super thick, you know, just regular pin, a couple little bottles of paint and um, markers. And then I use these boards, like uh, ceiling tiles. Oh, you can get them at Lowe's or, you know, probably anywhere. Or I take a piece of cardboard, cover it with plastic wrap, put it in between a t-shirt or a pillowcase or whatever I'm painting so that it doesn't, so all the color doesn't run and come back on it. And you can create washes of color or get into a full painting with just those amounts of supplies. I start with a piece of fabric. Now, what I did here is... This is a piece of cotton because not everybody wants to go buy a piece of silk. I'm going to show you how to pin this. So you can see here what we're going for in the end and it's very simple. I just took these two corners and you want to pull. And this goes with cotton or with silk. You want to pull so it's taut and you just stick the pin in. And what I do is I just go each corner, I do a pin in the middle and then I start putting a pin in between each one of the other pins to keep things a little even. But it doesn't have to be exact. So now we have our fabric pinned on the board. That was pretty simple. It just takes a minute. So now we're going to pull it up. And the reason we're pulling it up is to keep it off the board because if I were to paint right on here and it was smearing, that color would start to bleed all over. So we just pull it up. So this one's ready to paint without resist. So I wet my brush, I've pre-mixed these colors, it's just a little water in the paint. This is thick, this is thin. And we're just stroking it on. And the thinner it is and the more water you add to it, the faster it will travel. Now you see here it's not traveling too much because this fabric is thicker, but you see as, as we've been talking for a few minutes, it's starting to spread. It's a little darker in the middle and you can see it's starting to run. And this is without resist. If I don't care where this paint travels to, I don't care about resist. I'm going to go ahead and just paint. And this is where everybody can feel free to use their imaginations. I could do any kind of shape that I want, and I'm using a pointed brush here. Now you can see how the colors are changing as they've hit the blue hits the yellow, and it hits the red. And you can see it kind of makes like a, a rainbow look. Now let me show you the one with resist. Here's our robot with her three feet and her dress and she, I did the drawing and I did it in a disappearing ink. I took the resist and I went over my drawing because I knew that I wanted the girl robot and the sun to be separate from the background. So now watch this. Here's the sun, here's the sky. And I'm laying in blue around the sun and that resist which is this line right here is not letting the blue run into the yellow as it did on the other ones when they all blended together these will not blend together now if I were to take this if this was water-based resist and I were to wash this it will leave the white line and you'll get to just see the silk and this is what made me fall in love with silk painting Okay, so now we've gone in, we have the two pieces without the resist and the one piece with the resist, and now we want to do some finishing. Get it ready for our Christmas presents, for a present to Grandma, and you come in and you use your imagination. Well, does Nyrus want some red in her hair? Why not, right? Anything goes in art, because remember, what did I say? There's no right or wrong in art. Anything you do that's fun is right. Make sure whatever you do, sign your name. That's your artwork and be proud of it. If your grandma's going to keep her t-shirt for the rest of your life, your signature should be on it. You can paint on a t-shirt. You can paint on a pillowcase, tablecloths, napkins. Uh, take old bed sheets that might have a couple of little spots on them and you can turn those into flowers. Or you could take something that your favorite shirt that got a little stain when you were cooking spaghetti sauce and turn that into, you know, something beautiful so you can still wear your shirt. It's perfect for the whole family. 
If you can stick a paintbrush in water, you're painting on fabric. You don't need any expertise, very little money. You just need some water, a couple paintbrushes, and you can get it done quickly, and it dries quickly. You can like do it and be done with it. And it's perfect for Christmas gifts. Life doesn't always have to be completely complicated. Sometimes you do things just because it's fun and makes you happy. Thanks, Nairis. For more Week in Design, check back every week on Jacksonville.com. For Jacksonville.com, I'm Amanda Warford.